Hello, this is Jenny from Healing the Wounded Heart. I can remember as a child living near the sea just how much I used to love walking up to the seafront in good weather, wearing my costume with a towel wrapped round me and my flip flops on, as it only took me about five minutes to walk to the seafront. However, I only liked swimming when it was high tide, mainly because the water looked clearer and I didn't have to wade in very far before I was out of my depth. Recently, I have been thinking about how the tides naturally change and this reminded me that our lives are changing all the time too. Sometimes we may feel as though we are getting out of our depth with very difficult circumstances or that actually there is perhaps great blessing going on in our life. And at other times we may feel like we are rather at a low ebb or we just seem to carry on each day with really not much happening. God, of course, is the God of all things. And no matter where you and I are today, whether we feel as though we are drowning with the stresses and the strains of life, or if we are generally doing okay, God is the one who orchestrates all things for our ultimate good and blessing. He works all things together rather than he just works all things in isolation. So, just as he governs the tides, so he governs our lives. I think you will agree with me that there are few things as refreshing to us as standing on the shore and watching the waves. In scripture, the sea represents change. It is never the same. Life's journey in many ways for us is like a voyage. We have launched out, but we have not yet landed. The tide is always changing. It is the ebb and the flow of life. Tides come and they go. Every season of our life is not the same. Circumstances certainly do change quickly and our emotions are some of the most changeable things on earth, aren't they? Our moods change from time to time too. When the tide of life is at a low ebb for us, it is at that moment that we need to remind ourselves that God is not moody. He never ever has a bad day. He declares to us in Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, I am the Lord, I change not. How wonderful that is, so assuring to our hearts. And so someday the tides will stop and the sea will be still. John in the book of Revelation reminds us in Revelation chapter 21 verse 1, there was no more sea. In other words, there will be no more unsettledness, no more change, no more ebb and flow in our lives. We will be with our unchanging Lord forever and ever. God bless you. Amen.